Hey everyone, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. There's a lot that goes into making your favorite Cobra Kai fight scenes work. In today's video, we'll be talking about what Cobra Kai really looks like behind the scenes. Don't forget to let us know what you think down in the comments and subscribe to the channel. Let's dive in. So, how did the cast of Cobra Kai shoot the fight scenes at the school? The seasons of Cobra Kai are packed with exciting battles and martial arts competitions. However, the school fight in the last episode stands out. During the episode, a brawl breaks out at school involving Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai. After Tori initiates a confrontation with Sam after learning that she has kissed Miguel, the remainder of each dojo's members join the battle, which finishes up with Sam in the hospital due to her wounds and Miguel needing life support following Robbie kicking him and sending him flying down a set of stairs. Of course, shooting a scene like that takes a lot of preparation and patience, as well as some cast members, Mer Duena, Peyton List, Tanner Buchanan, and Mary Mauser, who sat down recently to go over the fight scene shot by shot. Buchanan explained that there was only four days available to shoot the sequence, but that it was a one -er, meaning that the camera followed the action as it unfolded. And despite the fact that the cast had gone through rigorous rehearsals for the action, mishaps do occur. Everyone was like, boy, you sure timed it wonderfully, but I actually forgot to kick was heading for my head and I recalled that the last second. Mauser said, jokingly recalling how she forgot lists Tori was planning to try to kick her. She also disclosed that she damaged her hand during one of the filming sessions and had to head to the ER before coming to the next day to film with her fingers taped together. The actors also discussed how the stunt doubles enter and exit scenes in a split second as the camera moves around. List's stunt double, Janelle Kerfman, scuffles with Mauser's Sam moments before List reappears in the shot in one sequence. The hundred or so extra in side of the scene also got a shout out from List, who said they provided the performers an extra push of enthusiasm. The extras were shouting and encouraging them during the scene, and it had really helped for them to complete it how they did. What about the classic moment in which Miguel is thrown down the stairwell? Maraduena said that he was wearing a harness, and he was dropped down the stairway by his stunt double, Noah. Next, some of the filming conditions were tough on certain sets. Working on any set, even the biggest ones can be challenging. This was the case with Cobra Kai, as several of the cast members shared their experiences when they had to film in inclement weather. The cast recalled that it was chilly, slippery, and muddy when filming season 2 episode 7 in the woods. Jacob recalled having problems getting his timing down for his battle with Zolo, especially given the bitter cold and inability to get a solid footing on mud. The actors admitted that the weather had an influence on their capabilities to deliver on camera, so this could be an easy one for them. Although, this was not quite as traumatic as Leonardo DiCaprio's ordeal on the production of The Revenant, it does demonstrate that nothing is flawless when working on a project. Even with body doubles, a considerable amount of preparation goes toward bringing the action sequence to life, which may put the actors under a lot of stress. They gathered all of the stunt duplicates, stunt coordinators and actors in one place. In relation to the number of individuals there, it was a massive rehearsal. They have a set amount of time to train. Cobra Kai seems to have been a success since its inception and initial premiere on YouTube Red, and the time it takes to bring a single clip to life is absolutely incredible. Luckily, all of the hard work has paid off handsomely and we're able to see it pay off on screen. Where were some of the filming locations for Cobra Kai? Assuming Daniel LaRusso hadn't relocated first from the suburbs of New Jersey to Southern California in 1982, there would be no Karate Kid. As a result, it's only natural that perhaps the Netflix series returns viewers to California California, where it all began, right? That's not the case. Despite the fact that Cobra Kai is set in Los Angeles, many of the scenes in the program were not shot there. The majority of Cobra Kai was shot in Los Angeles and Atlanta, Georgia. According to Real to Real, most of season one and two had been shot in different places around Georgia, namely Peachtree City, Fayetteville, Conyers, Marietta, Union City, and Marietta. Neighborhoods like Tarzana, Encino, and Reseda served as backdrops for the scene in Cobra Kai that took place in California. Atlanta, Georgia is home to the Cobra Kai Dojo. Don't seek the Cobra Kai Dojo on the West Coast if you want to see it in person. Although the retail mall where Johnny started his business is claimed to have been in Los Angeles, it is really in Atlanta. The inside sequence of the dojo were filmed on a set, but the exterior images were done at an Atlanta mall. LaRusso's home and vehicle dealership are both located in Georgia. While LaRusso's lovely family home appears to be located in a 
Los Angeles neighborhood, it is really situated in Marietta, Georgia. All of the scenes at LaRusso Auto Group, his favorite dealership, were shot in Union City, Georgia. However, Johnny's residence is located in Los Angeles. Johnny's one-bedroom walk-up apartment is as real as they come. Miguel and his apartment complex in Tarzana is one of the few places in the program that was shot in California rather than Georgia. Okinawa was used for some of the season's three filming. Mr. Miyagi's village awaits LaRusso's return. John Hurwitz, the show's co-creator, tweeted saying that parts of season three were shot in Okinawa. Next, the cast really mastered karate for their roles. The Karate Kid movie as well as the spin-off show Cobra Kai have had a huge effect on the art of karate. In terms of the increasing popularity of the martial art, they are considered icons. Cobra Kai has never been chastised for its technological flaws. In reality, audiences have witnessed how hard the performers have worked on several occasions. They recently dived into a pool of chilly water in some zero conditions as an example. Can the Cobra Kai actors, on the other hand, truly practice any karate? The protagonists, Zolo Maraduena, Miguel, and Mary Mauser, Samantha, had the least amount of karate expertise. Maraduena claimed he took a year or two training when he was very young, but he didn't really delve into martial arts until he was cast in the first season of Cobra Kai. Since the beginning of the program, Mary Mauser has been putting in a lot of work at the gym. In an interview, she stated that she understands that many martial arts fans will be following the series. This added to the pressure of making them proud, while also ensuring that they appeared impressive to newer fans. I'm obviously a newbie in the world, and yet Samantha isn't, so it is interesting to extend myself and see how far I can stretch myself to appear as if I've been practicing karate for years, when I've only done it about a year's worth of training, she explained. In regards to karate technique, actor Jacob Bertrand, who portrays Eli Hawk Moskowitz, can provide the most. While he is not a karateka, the star has been practicing the martial arts since he was eight years old. While he eventually gave up before going on to other pursuits, he never truly quit combat sports. Bertrand spent two years grappling training and so has the greatest karate knowledge in Cobra Kai. Tanner Buchanan is another Cobra Kai star who really can perform a little karate. The actor described Taekwondo as a passion that most youngsters from around the ages of 10 to 12 participate in. The actor, like Bertrand, gave up the hobby when he was in his teen years. During the eight months he spent filming Designated Survivor, he started to train in Mai Tai, another martial arts slash combat sport. William Zabka and Ralph Macchio, two seasoned actors, have only had karate instruction in the Karate Kid movie and the Netflix series Cobra Kai. Zabka, on the other hand, had begun training after being typecast in prior films. So, who has the most impressive moves? The stars disagree on who would dominate a real-life karate contest, but it's pretty evident that they all have progressed from the inexperienced fighters we saw in that first season. Thankfully, the trip will continue, since a fifth season of the show has already been recorded, and we have a number of questions on what it will look like, but no word on when it will premiere on Netflix. That's all we have for today's video. What do you think about some of the locations they used to film for Cobra Kai? Do you think the stars perform their choreography pretty well, and it's believable? Can you tell where the stunt doubles are in the scenes? What did you think? Let us know down below in the comments.